Good morning everyone. Today we have to discuss an important property of chapter 2 that is for any two given numbers LCF and HCF we have to find out. If two numbers are given then how to find the LCF and HCF. Okay. So first property is LCF equal to one number into other number upon their HCF. Same with HCF. HCF equal to one number into other number upon their LCF. These two properties we are going to use in the examples. Okay. So first example is HCF of two numbers are given and their product are given. We have to find the LCM. And second example, here LCM of two numbers are given and the product of the two numbers are already given. We have to find the HCM. Okay. So first example, first we will write the given things from the question. Now, what is given in example number 1? That is, heading will be given HCF of two numbers are 5 and the product of two numbers are 705. Our question is to find LCM. Okay. So here we are going to use this first property or the first formula. That formula is LCM equal to one number into other number upon their HCM. Okay. Here we have to apply this formula. LCM equal to one number into other number upon their HCF. Okay. Now in the next step we just have to put their values. One number into other number. That means the product of two numbers that is already given. That is 705 upon in the formula HCF is there so HCF is also given that is 5 so LCF equal to 705 upon 5 now we have to divide these numbers just to divide them 705 divided by 5. 5 ones are 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Then write 0. The number is 20. 5 fours are 20. Now 20 minus 20 is 0. Now, the last number which is left is 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay. So, the number that we got is 1, 4, 1. Okay. When we divide this 705 by 5, we will get 1, 141. This 141 is the LCM. Okay. And our answer is this 141. That is 141. Okay. So by using this formula, LCM equal to one number into other number upon their HCM, we can find out the LCM. Okay. Now, second example is there 
LCF is given, but HCF is not given. That means we have to find the HCF. Okay. Now example number two, we have to do. Okay. In example number two, given the product of two numbers are given. Four hundred ninety-six. Okay, and LCM is sixteen. Our question is to find the HCM of these numbers. Okay, so here we have to apply the second property of the second formula. Which formula? HCF we have to find out. Therefore, HCF equal to one number into other number upon their LCM. Okay. First we have written the formula. Now we just have to put the values. In place of this formula, HCF as it is equal to one number into other number means the product of two numbers. Okay, so the product of two numbers are given in the question. That is four hundred ninety-six. So in place of one number into other number, we are placing the Product of these two numbers, so the product is four hundred ninety six. Okay, upon LCM, LCM is already given that is sixteen. Okay, so here for finding LCM, we just have to divide this four hundred ninety six by sixteen. Okay. Just to divide them, four hundred ninety-six divided by sixteen. Okay, we cannot take four because four is less than sixteen. So here we are taking two digits that is forty-nine. Okay, forty-nine is not in the table of sixteen. So the number which is less than forty-nine. And in the table of sixteen is forty-eight. That is three times sixteen three is a forty-eight. Just subtract it. Nine minus eight equal to one. Four minus four equal to zero. Okay. Now next digit is six. That is Sixteen. The number is sixteen. Now again, sixteen ones are sixteen. Sixteen minus sixteen is zero. Okay. So when we divide these numbers, we will get thirty-one. Okay. So this thirty-one is the HCF of these numbers. Okay, so here the product of two numbers are given four hundred ninety-six. LCM is already given that is sixteen. Our question is to find the HCF. Here we applied the formula HCF equal to one number into other number upon their LCM. In the next step, we just have written this HCF as it is because this we have to find out equal to in place of this one number into other number that is the product of two numbers. We just place the product of two numbers here four hundred ninety six upon LCM is sixteen already given. Then we just divide these two numbers. And got thirty one, and the number that we got is the this thirty one is the HCF of these numbers. Okay.
Okay. So today we have learnt two properties. That is how to find the LCM and HCL if two numbers are given or their product.